another life saved through concealed carry. What? This channel is about So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is going on, folks? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone that's been following my channel for a while, do me a favor and double check to make sure that you are subscribed. But if you are fairly new to the channel as of this week, maybe last week or even month, go to my channel, right? Click on playlist. Look at all these different tabs right here. All these different thumbnails represents different categories of things that I offer on this channel and that I do. Pretty sure you can find something there that you would like. Comedy, health, reaction videos, et cetera, et cetera. Check that out for me. And then once you want to do that, subscribe to the channel. And when you do, make sure you hit the bell notification. All of y'all, make sure y'all hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a video, all right? Thank you very much for all that, ladies and gentlemen. So this video right here, I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It is Lee Zeldin's uh, being the gubernatorial Republican who was attacked while he was on stage, but um, a bunch of bystanders, you know, red-blooded patriot Americans, you know, stepped in and helped them out. We'll be heroes again come January 1st. Our healthcare workers, our teachers, our law enforcement officers, our firefighters. We're fighting for our government. People are leaving the state because they look at Florida, Texas, Tennessee and the Carolinas, and their money's going further there. They're feeling safer there. They're living life freer in these other states. You're still here, and this is our last stand for New York. And there's only there's only one option. Now, this is how rumors get started. When the guy said he has a gun, you guys need to back up. Obviously, he looked like he's troubled by it. He should have put that scooter in rabbit mode and just took off yelling he's got a gun. He didn't have a gun, though, ladies and gentlemen. As y'all going to see, I'm going to play images of what the guy actually had. But anyway, uh, people did. You know, if this was a guy with a gun or anything like that, they seen that he was taken down. So people apparently felt safe. You didn't hear no gunshot go off, but I'm pretty sure if you did, they would have scattered like crazy. I didn't even see him. I see him come from the left and he come out there and he's like, Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we must unequivocally back our men and women of law enforcement to keep us safe. And they say this guy had a blade in his hand. So I'll tell you guys the story that's pushed on here, okay? It says one of the men who took down the individual seen on the video after Republican Lee Zeldin said the attacker lunged at the congressman and Republican gubernatorial candidate with a blade on his hand during a campaign stop in during, during a campaign stop in Parrington, New York on Thursday. Oh boy, in New York, huh? They probably gonna charge the congressman for words. <laughs> but anyway, let me stop. Joe Chinnelly, the national director for uh, AM, AM Vets, spoke with Fox News Digital and said the alleged attacker came through the crowd about 15 minutes into Zeldin's speech and was stumbling as he walked up on the stage. And that's when the decision was made to confront him. When first seeing the alleged attacker approach the stage, Chinnelly said he wasn't sure if he was coming up to hug the congressman or yell at him or argue with him. 
Chinley said the congressman was able to block the man from striking him with the blade. His right hand came up, I assume out of his pocket, and he had a blade in his hand. His fingers were his fingers were like two finger holes in the blade and lunged at the congressman, and the congressman zelled and blocked the first lunge, and then he tried to lunge again. I grabbed him from behind and tackled him to the ground and held him on the ground, Chinley said. This says he had a blade in his hand. His fingers were like two finger holes and the blade lunged. Something this might be like that little, um, I don't know what kind of blade this was, but we'll see. Um, he said that after he took the alleged attacker down, a number of people came to help restrain the man. And Chinley <clears throat> said he still had the blade in his hand. Once the blade was taken out of the attacker's hand, they tied him up with zip ties and pretty much restrained him. Chinley said the alleged attacker was mostly incoherent and kind of yelling, but it seemed like he wasn't, but it seemed like he was at the event with the intent to cause harm to the congressman. While the national director of AM Vets said he couldn't understand most of what the alleged attacker was saying, he noticed that the individual was wearing a United States Marine Corps t-shirt and that the assailant said he had fought in Iraq adding that there were signs showing that the individual was not mentally well. Here we go with the mentally. Everybody's doing these attacks. Stuff is just not mentally well. If you're going to try to hurt somebody and harm somebody, I don't think you're mentally well anyway. I'm not talking about that you have like real mental issues. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you, if you want to hurt somebody, harm somebody physically for no apparent reason, even if you don't agree with them and you just want to harm them, something is going on with you mentally anyway. Okay. <clears throat> He said he was an Iraq veteran. He and he said and that really struck me. Chinley said, and I know the mental health crisis that has really gripped the veterans community. I don't want this to become some crazy veteran story, but it definitely struck me. And so, you know, while he was still standing there, I told him that he's going to get through this. The situation he's going to, you know, deal with that. He said, you're going to deal with it tonight. You know, once he's done, I want him to reach out to me. We'll make sure that you get the services that you need is what they said about this man that tried to attack. Okay. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office told Fox News that it is aware of the incident at the speech uh, with Zeldin this evening. A suspect is in custody and major crime is investigating. Zeldin's campaign shared the image with Fox News Digital, which appears to show the blade that was used by the alleged attacker while he was being restrained. And it looks like that, what they call like the cat. And it looks like a cat with sharp points on it. You put your fingers through it. Can this thing cause major harm? It all depends if he was to get stabbed in the eye, in the neck, or something like that. Yes, it can. But pretty much, I know that I give, I have given this out to a lot of my um, female mentorees. Told them about this, where they can purchase it. It goes on their key ring. You put holes through it. If you've been, you've been attacked, they put their hands through it. And they can just sit there. And those little things make a statement. They got some really, really sharp points right there, right there on the cat ears. And But I'm just saying, hitting, hitting the eye or hitting the jugular, yeah. That can definitely cause some major damage. Katie Vincent, a spokesperson for a gubernatorial campaign, said Zeldin <clears throat> and Lieutenant Governor nominee Allison Esposito are safe following the incident. Congressman Zeldin, Allison Esposito, and all members of the team Zeldin are safe following tonight's attack. Far more must be done to make New York safe again. Ha <laughs> ha. This is very much getting out of hand. Not getting out of hand. It just is out of hand. Unfortunately, Congressman Zeldin is just the latest New Yorker whose life has been affected by the out of control crime and violence in New York. This needs to stop. Thankfully, we have an exception. Thankfully, we have exceptional men and women in law enforcement answering to call to protect our streets. What X was excellent is that you had law abiding citizens that stepped in and stopped this man from causing further harm. That's what I'm saying right here. Now, Republican Zeldin took to Twitter saying grateful for the attendees who stepped up quickly to assist and the law enforcement officers who quickly responded. He also added, I, he also added, I'm a resolute. Wait, I'm as resolute as ever to do my part to make New York safe again. Now, again, I know there's a lot of things that people are probably wondering what was said. What was he talking about that triggered this guy who claimed that he was a Marine and that he fought in Iraq. Now I said claim because we don't know if it's true or not, but claim. Point being, ladies and gentlemen, that I just want to bring this to you guys to show you that I think we all need to be in the mode. Yes, go out there and live your life. I've been in this mode since I was a teenager. But you always want to be, you know, you always want to have yourself in the mind frame that you're willing to help out a fellow American brother or sister. 
I told my wife, it, it drives her crazy. She know I cannot stand it. If I see somebody on the side of the road, I always just stop and say, have you called? Are you okay? They're, yeah, I'm good. I always do that. There's been times where I stopped. There was a young couple that had a flat tire. They obviously did not know what they were doing because the boy was sitting there taking, trying to, he, he took all the lug nuts off and all that. And he couldn't figure out. I'm like, have you jacked the car up? You know, he didn't put the emergency brake on. Anyway, my point is I have stopped numerous of times and helped people. Some of this is displayed on my channel. You guys, y'all seen it that I've stopped people. I stopped the woman who had been stabbed by her husband or boy, you know, her, yeah, her, she was stabbed by her boyfriend. He stabbed her almost close to her for moral artery, whatever. That's on my channel right now, you know? So Anyway, my point is saying that is that we should always be in a mode to where we're just trying to look out for our fellow American brother or sister, whether you agree with them or not, because the people that I've helped, I don't know, and nor do I care how they vote. I don't know, and I don't care whether they are Democrat or Republican. My whole point in doing it is just making sure that my fellow American brother, brother or sister is okay, no matter what side of the bird wing they fall on. You know, it's all about all of our safety, period. All of us, when criminals attack, they don't care if you are a Republican or a Democrat. These thugs, these criminals in New York and in Chicago, Baltimore, Philly, these people do not care what your political association is. They don't care. But at the same time, I care about you as an American before I care about you as what party you are affiliated with. Plain and simple, folks. We all should be in that mindset to always be ready to help our fellow American brother and sister. Plain and simple, folks. All right, let me know what y'all think of this right here. I mean, is this, a, this definitely is a New York issue. And from what I was told, the guy is out course why wouldn't he be there's people that shot people in new york and got out so i mean why wouldn't he be why wouldn't he be out you know but if the if they found if they we find out later that any of those men hurt that would be attacker they might go to jail <laughs> anyway the da might try to prosecute them and, and charge them with assault and battery <laughs> let me know what y'all think of this story right here folks um leave it in the comment below after this video i am ty smith modern renaissance man hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Cause I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it and God bless you all.